welcome to fantasy of collectors and this is your boy Sid and today we have our low to wire free HD security cameras for a quick unboxing and setup and a review I've already opened up the box and have stuff so that you can see what comes with this so first of all I'll start by talking a bit about this camera and why I picked this one over the others available in the market so as you guys know I have moved into my own house now and one of the things which I always wanted to do or like which have bothered me about this place is being a big place I, I wanted to keep track and see if there is someone in the backyard or like anyone is trespassing or if anyone is trying to break into my place so this camera is wireless very easy to set up it has a night vision mode and it's wi-fi so i can basically mount it up anywhere and i can keep track of what's happening on my cell phone with live view and also motion alerts which it sends you through its app on your phone or on your PC you do get seven days of cloud storage for free where it records and stores last seven days of activities for you so for me that's that's a selling point because competitors like nest and ring they do not offer you seven days of free cloud storage for the security cameras you have to pay for them after like a one day or three days something like that so our load definitely offers more free cloud storage for the video recording as compared to the other competitors and it is very easy to set up like I was gonna go for nest because my thermostat and stuff are also nest so I when I looked about nest it came up that you gotta do a wide setup for all the nest cams whether it's an indoor cam or an outdoor cam and I just wanted to do it myself and wanted it to be easy so Arlo was the one which anyone can basically go by and do it themselves without having to worry about calling an electrician or something so this kit I picked up from Amazon So in the kit, you will get two cameras, two wireless cams, and that's the, probably the night vision sensor or motion sensor. And it has, you can mount it over here, or this is the the classic magnetic mount spot which i'm gonna be using now other than those two cameras we have a netgear base station which you connect to your modem router wherever it's sitting it has two usb ports on off switch and a power button and you get these magnetic mounts for the camera inside this package and these are the screws which you're gonna put in wall and then this thing will just go anywhere and then BAM done just install it anywhere so easily and then we have a power adapter to power the base station and ethernet cable these things have batteries in it because the camera these cameras are battery operated so you
each camera takes four of CR123A batteries. They go like this. Then you just lock it and the light comes on showing that the batteries are perfectly installed in the right way. So it does come with four batteries for each camera. I installed four in this one and four of those CR123A batteries in this camera. I mean, being a, a wireless camera, the, they, dip, they require those batteries. If you go for the next generation of the cameras, then you, you will get the rechargeable batteries. But this generation, you have to get these CR123A batteries. But from what I read on on the Netgear website, these batteries should last you about four or five months before you had to go and replace them again. So that's pretty good, I'll say. And other than that, you get uh, guide accessories and a card to put on or like a sticker that video monitoring is in progress. It's just kind of scares away the thieves. So now I'm going to go install it and I'll show you guys how the app works. So now we are in the Arlo app on my iPhone and both of the cameras are set up and they are working. One camera I installed is in the backyard to have a clear view if someone is trying to break in from the backside and for trespassers and the second one I installed well first I tried to install it on the living room window but that didn't work out as I planned it so I tried to move it on the front entrance as you can see there is a nail in the wall I tried to mount it using the the magnet up hanging thing it came with but the camera was too heavy after I installed the batteries uh, so it was not staying stable in the direction where I was trying to install it having a side view so I had to just have it sit on the doorbell which is hanging inside and the reason why I didn't install the front camera on the outside wall of my house is being a wireless camera I was a bit scared what if someone just takes it and runs away because these cameras can be synced with any base station and you don't need to do anything so I decided for now I'll install it inside facing the entrance and once I have a firm mount which I can like screw in the wall firmly and at a height where someone can not just easily steal it and run then I will move it outside so yeah now right now like you can see in the backyard right where it says backyard there is a battery sign where which shows you the amount of battery left and then there is a Wi-Fi signal but uh, also shown over there and then there where it says zero those are the notifications if there is any motion detected in the backyard it's gonna send me a 10 second clip recorded uh, of that motion as a notification and over here you can see device settings it shows you about the base station here and you can look for the device info and this is the library where it stores up to seven days of all the motion video recording it has seen and then in the mode you have armed disarmed you can have a schedule or you have geofencing done for the camera depending on your location and then in settings it tells you about the base station and all the additional cameras you have connected to your base station then there is a subscription I'm using the ba basic one but you can get a more higher advanced subscription if you require but I don't need it so I didn't go for it the basic subscription which I have is good enough it includes seven days of cloud recording and it support up to five Arlo cameras and I don't even 
need five so so basic was perfect for me and then what else we have in settings that's about it about the app I'll show you the live feed for the backyard so when we click play it's gonna play play it and it will get the connection to the camera and then we'll be able to see it yeah so now we are live in the backyard you can get the live feeds for all the cameras at the same time that's pretty cool and it's like you can access this thing from anywhere in the world one of the thing I like the most about this app is like how easy it is to use if you click on plus on the top right corner you can add all these devices which Arlo has it's super easy to set up now I'm gonna show you a clip as well of the backyard recording so that you can see how good the camera quality is even at night So that's all for the Orlo cameras today. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, don't be shy. You can always ask me in the comments. And until our next video, have fun and be safe. And thanks for watching.